I get to introduce Jacob Rasmussen today. Um, and the fact is that both on and off the paper, Jacob is an amazing student. Um, his list of accomplishments alone make him more than deserving of this award. Uh, he was, he's been on the exec for the past two years. He served as junior class president, and this year he is Heinrich Club co-president. He was cross-country captain the past two years and a soccer captain this year. He served as FBLA, FBLA secretary and got to be co-president of the amazing club of Ultimate Frisbee, <laughs> all while maintaining a 3.95 GPA. <laughs> but the real reason he got this award isn't because of his list of accomplishments, but because of the kind of person Jacob is. I've had quite a lot of memories with Jacob. Um, freshman year, he almost got impaled after slipping off the trail at Poo Poo Point while <laughs> trying to collect data for a science experiment. <laughs> I woke up to way too many early morning meetings with them on exec board, and I also shared a blanket with them on a way too cold night, I really feel like sophomore year. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure that he's the one that started my nickname of the giraffe. <laughs> the list goes on of summer camps, Highlander Olympics, frisbee games, church small groups, etc. Jacob is one of the most caring people that I know, and he's been a major part of my life. I'm like enough to say that he'll be my roommate next year as Jacob attends WSU to study business. I can't think of anyone more deserving of this award. I can't wait to see the amazing things he does in his life. Thank you, Kevin. Throughout high school, I've been fortunate to have amazing friends, staff, and family to support me throughout high school. My dad has always been there to push me to be my best, pushing me towards perfection or greatness in everything I do. He supported me every step of the way, from the soccer fields to the cross country courses, which I dreaded so much. <laughs> <laughs> to my stepmom, I thank her for the kindness she shared to me and for being there whenever I needed it. To my mom, who spends every morning making me lunch and making sure I'm good for my day and for school. To the three of you, your endless support has made me who I am. Without you, I would not be standing here today. And finally, to my leadership teacher, and my best friend, Peter Rustemeyer. <laughs> Rusty possesses the most flamboyant and loud personality, which is shining as a beacon for others to follow. He walked me through school and helped me pave a path at Hazen. Being the advisor of FBLA and also the leadership teacher, we have spent an unfortunate sum of our school years together. <laughs> he has pushed me to new heights as I take on new tasks and work my way around dilemmas. He's been a supportive model and someone who I know would be there for me if I needed it. Thank you, Rusty. I'm forever grateful for what you have done for me over the last three years in leadership, FBLA, and life. I'm beyond privileged to be talking about this man next to me today. As I've grown up, one thing has always stayed constant in my life the fact that Kevin Daniel Hannes is tall. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, Kevin's height made him not only a leader on the <coughs> playground, but also in the classroom. I remember literally and figuratively looking up to Kevin for his kindness, social status, and athletic ability. These traits led him to hold several positions in student government at Hayes, such as freshman, secretary, treasurer, sophomore class president, ASB treasurer, and Wolfenburg Ball Club vice president. <laughs> He took these positions seriously, always holding a, rig or a professional tone and keeping up a strong rigor and work ethic, which I've used as an example of what a good leader is. I thank Kevin for being the role model in my life and for all the memories he has given me. These memories, though, have come from a wide range of backgrounds. For example, the time when I nearly fell to my death at Poo Poo Point, <laughs> watching the stars at church camp, featuring in a historic comedy as a questionable parent in our AP Lang project, and fighting several individuals for a blanket as we froze to death on the turf of Madden Stadium. The good times. I'm excited that our friendship won't be ending when high school ends, as he's planning on continuing his education at Washington State, being my roommate, while he studies criminology 
Will you have to become a police officer or a pastor? <laughs> Despite all of Kevin's achievements, it isn't what he does on the field or in the classroom that sets him apart. Kevin is one of the kindest, most good spirited people out there. A reliable friend, student, and someone that I know I can trust with anything. He is someone that can anyone can rely on in any situation. I'm thankful to have him as a friend, future roommate, and my brother from another mother. <laughs> I know Kevin is more than deserving of the description outstanding. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. And thank you to everyone here tonight. I've been lucky enough that God has given me an amazing family and group of friends that have always been there and supported me. I've had amazing teachers at my time at Hazen, many of which are in this room today. Um, but most specifically, I want to thank Mr. Viles. Mr. Viles is the reason I have a love for music, um, and I wish I had more time because there's so much to be said of him. Um, but I think the best way that I can describe him in short is that at the end of last year, he was singing us in choir for being such great students and people. And my response to him was that we're all just normal high school students and that it's him that makes us truly great. So Mr. Viles, I want to say thank you. I hope to see you next year.